Welcome to Ucanic. So today on Ucanic, we're going to go over how you would jump start. Well, first you're going to check your battery to see if you have enough voltage. Say you're getting a clicking noise that would say that you don't have enough voltage to start your battery or to start your car. So you would check that. And then if there is voltage in it and you just don't have enough, we'll talk about how you would jump start your vehicle. So first, say you're, you've got in your car, you you know, turned it and it just does the click click noise you know first place to start is to look at your battery then it could be something else past that but first we look at the battery and check its voltage just any standard of voltmeter you can use and you would just um, set it to the the DC setting put a the red lead on the positive and this is the positive and the negative lead on there and see how much voltage you have you should be anywhere 12 and a half Essentially, it sits at 12 and a half, but anything of, over 12 is where you'd want it to be. Anything below that, potentially, you won't be able to start your vehicle. So that's how you check your battery to check the voltage. Sometimes your battery might be way, way too low that you can't get inside with the electronic opener. And if you don't have a keyhole, you'll have to be able to in, enter the car manually. And we'll discuss that in another vid video. But say you're able to get it o once you get it open and you're into here so you can do um, to jump it either a jumper box where you would hook it up to the negative and the positive and put your jumper box on there or if you've got your jumper cables and you have your other support vehicle you're going to put this to the positive right and you'd put this either to the negative or find a good ground on the vehicle like that and hook the other side to the positive and negative on the other battery of your support vehicle that's parked beside you and then you would run that for a while and give some charge to this battery you shouldn't do it if it's fully dead well, then you've left the lights on and you would want to go through the process of charging the battery and there is videos about how to charge a battery but you would do this to be able to get it jump started Charge it a little bit so that you're not going to overwork your alternator when you start it. Because if you charge it just enough just to start it and run it, your alternator, alternator will charge this, but you will reduce the life of your alternator by a very good amount. So once it's started, you're good to go. Um, you want to go and get it tested, most likely, if, if it does it more than once, and see if your battery has just gotten gotten weak or is out of its lifespan and then you would need to replace it. So that's how you would jump start your vehicle and how you would check the voltage to see where you're at in your 2016 Kia Optima. Thanks for watching Ucanic, where you can be the mechanic.